Hello friends, in this video I will be showing you practically how we can uh, create local variables in uh, script or in a design studio application and how we can utilize that local uh, variables in, um, in the script components. So for that purpose, uh, let's have this example means I have this example with the cross tab created in, uh, the, in the tabular uh, formats. So I have this cross tab what I want, I wanted to show a pop up when I click on this particular row in this cross tab. I wanted to show a pop up showing this value in a separate uh, field. So for that purpose, I need a pop up first. So let's add a pop up so this is a pop up which will uh, be appear here uh, initially it will be uh, invisible means uh, i can set a margin hit here like i wanted to have it below here now um, if i uh, Select for selecting, we need to set the selection type for this cross tab, which is uh, we need to initially it will be a none. So for, for now, we need to select single so that whenever we click on this single row, the value should be get selected. And means for that purpose, selectable area means we can select rows, or suppose we wanted to have just only say column, then we can have that column as well. So uh, we need row by row data to be uh, just uh, picked up. So uh, I have selected as a single and a selection, selectable area as uh, rows. So in this pop-up, I will be adding one text component. So this is one text component got added here in this uh, pop-up. So what I will be doing, when now I will show you, miss, if I run this, there is nothing added to this uh, pop-up. So initially it will not be visible. So what I wanted to when I whenever I click on this, I wanted to uh, get that pop up activated here and it should display the data which is uh, available here. So now to do this on the cross tab, uh, on the cross tab property, there is a on uh, on select option in the, in the in the in the event section means you need to add a script here. So first thing we need to make vis uh, pop up visible. So let's make pop up visible first. Show. Okay. So now if I just Save this and run this. I will show you means how it works. See, so this is uh, if I run the uh, if I am just clicking on this uh, cross tab, this pop up got open. So now, on this on this text, I want this value bit to be displayed. So for that purpose, I'll be uh, going to the script again. And let's say means I will be adding, uh, taking a variable means to create a like local variable, you just need to type uh, var as as a means as a text. Then you can just give a name uh, test variable. So what I wanted to, I will be fetching the values from that uh, particular cross tab. So cross tab two. get selected member if you want a multiple member uh, members then you can select multiple uh, selected members of uh, function if you just want a single member then you can select get selected member then you can uh, just press control space to just see means uh, what all uh, objects are there so let's say take this sold to party uh, option or dimension and uh, out of that you just need a text so take text okay so now you have retrieved the data of that particular row 
that country row uh, so uh, you will be setting in the text so we ha you have we have the text um, underscore 3 which is the text object which is on in the pop up so i will be setting that uh, for that purpose you need to use the set uh, set text uh, function and you can uh, just add this uh, test variable here okay so once you have done this just give a semicolon click on ok now if you run this Go to this top ten. So now, if I if you click on this, you'll see this. The, whatever the values is here, it will be displayed here. So you can uh, you can display this value as well, this measures value if you want to display. If you want a total value, that also you can display here. If you want this value, this you can uh, ha have uh, displayed it here. Okay, so this is the use of this uh, scripting function means uh, how we can use and local variables. So you, you can get any other values in this local variable. So let's see means I'll show you means. So as we created this local variable, so and I have we have taken the values from from that particular uh, row same way we can take the measures value and we can use that particular variable in a uh, different calculation like suppose we wanted to calculate a percentage share or something uh, just by multi multiplying by uh, some formula used to calculate the sales uh, revenue or, or percentage share so for that purpose we can use this uh, local variable so uh, local variables uh, are being uh, uh, just applicable to that particular uh, component uh, script it is not uh, available to the entire application means the other components uh, cannot use that particular uh, variable so global variables uh, can be used in a my entire application so uh, how how we can use global variables i will i will be taking in another video so um, uh, that's it for this uh, local variables i hope you have understood this if you have any questions then please uh, put it in a comment section if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get to know about my next uh, minute video thank you for watching